Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Annette. And it's your boy, Stanley. Listen. <laughs> Y'all have been waiting for this review. Y'all yeah, have been knocking man. at our door on Instagram, YouTube. When are we gonna get the review of your epic, or not so epic, cause y'all don't know yet, of our Virgin Voyages experience. In this video today, we are going to give you a glimpse of what we experienced on board the Virgin Voyages yep. Scarlet Lady. We are going to take you through all of the things such as the cabin, our onboard experiences, the show, and y'all know the infamous Scarlet, Scarlet Night. Night. We're going to talk about that. Then at the end, we're going to give you a summary and we're going to let you know if, if this really was a swingers, swingers cruise. cruise or not. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to let you know if this is something that we would do again. So let's just go ahead and get into it. <laughs> Our cruise on the Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady was from November the 11th, 2022 to November the 16th, 2022. We were on what they call the Dominican Days Voyage. So yeah. keep that in mind when we are talking about everything that we're going to talk about. Right. Also, let's go ahead and get you into the mood of how it was experiencing the first time we saw the Virgin Voyages yeah. Terminal. Yeah. Listen. That sets the stage of the expectation that you will have on board. Yeah. You go through Miami and you pass all the other cruise line terminals and you get to the end and it is like a beauty Beautiful. Yeah. to be really nice. Like it is like, oh, y'all didn't come to play. Right. Like this, it makes you feel like you have driven up to like the Bellagio Hotel in Vegas. Like it's so exclusive, so posh looking. So while I wanted to set that for you, so once we start talking about the things that we talk about, right. you'll get why we say some of the things that we say. Yes. So let's get into it. All right, fam. So the first thing we want to do is talk about the cabin. Yo, the cabin was nice. It was nice. Comfortable, relaxing. Romantic. It was what? Clean. I mean, it was. It, it was. Yeah, it was very nice when you first walked in. It was like, y'all did this right here, man. Y'all did it right. Yeah, you did this. So immediately we noticed that once you walk in, they had these grand curtains. The lighting was uplit, and y'all know yeah, how man. I feel uh -huh. about some good uplit lighting. They also had a lot of channels on the TV that you could watch really up-to-date movies. Like, yeah. there weren't just, like, the... Old, old, yeah. the old stuff. Yeah, like, they had a lot of up-to-date stuff. If you decided to take a night and just chill in your room, yeah. you weren't going to be without options to keep yourself entertained or feeling like you were at home. Right. One of the things that I enjoyed was as soon as we got in here, I've heard and I've seen, but it's different when you see it for yourself. Right. Is the fresh water canister oh, man. that they put out for you and they refilled it. I mean, I was like, Every day. did they know when you were thirsty and you were just at your last drop? Because even <laughs> in the middle of the day when we emptied it, it was like on cue, he was refilling it. I was like, oh. <laughs> Okay, the balcony was great. We had oh, what yeah, you man. call the Central Sea Terrace, which is their balcony cabin. Right. And it was just a standard balcony, and it was great size. I mean, it has to be to hold the hammock that they have out there. But, but what about was, that hammock, though, man? That hammock was so comfortable. I could have slept out there on that hammock, man. Our neighbors said they did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it was so yeah. comfortable and we just came from Mexico and stayed at a five star resort and their hammock was not as, as comfortable nope. as this one. Right. Like this one, like you could just, okay. Yeah. You felt like you were in the wound again. <laughs> yeah, you put your whole body in that piece. Yes. Yeah. And we can fail to mention that out there on the balcony, they had a like, you see how it got a little red light right there? Boom. That's how the balcony was outside, setting up nice romantic move. I was like, babe, we need to go out there and make little things happen, but we didn't do none of that, but it had that atmosphere because I love that it it was so private. So even if you wanted to do something, ain't nobody was gonna see. That we know of. Right. We won't go chance it because we <laughs> on YouTube. Right. So another thing that we loved about the room was that it was very technical. So everything yeah, was, was controlled by this iPad. So the iPad worked the lights, it worked the TV, 
You could order room service. You could it was everything. Yeah, you could the get movies. get your laundry done, movies. I mean, you name it. It you was could talk to your cabin steward. Stewardess, right? All that was on that one app. So I love that they made it modern and very techy. So if you a techy person, you, you gonna love, love that room. I'm telling you. And <laughs> even with that, with the lights. You could always do it manually as well. Yeah, they have manual switches. But it took us a couple of days to figure out which right. switches were where. Right. Because some of the switches were hidden, like by in the closet area. If you ever go, just look at the closet. Yeah. Some of your lights will be there. But I love, because in our home, we talk to our lights. Right. So I will just say, hey, Google, hey, Siri. Try not to say it loud because she yeah. listens. <laughs> Turn on the master bedroom light. That's how our home operates. So it yeah. was kind of giving us that home feel as well. Yeah. And also we love the furniture as well. The furniture was like so multi-purpose. Like they had that like part. the uh, the food trays. The food tray was a food tray they, and it was, it was a, a table. Desk. And then, and then uh, it was a coffee table. Right. And then they had another like red seat that was a seat, but it also it was, was a, a feet foot. rest. Yeah, it was an ottoman. Yeah. And then you turn it over and then you could use it for your food. Right. It's a lot going on. So yeah, so they have, which I know in your research, you saw that they have the L-shaped seats that the bed can turn into. And yeah, so we didn't even we even do that. So they had so much seating in there, we felt like we didn't even have to do that. Yeah, because they have this really big chair yeah. that's in there. So I didn't miss having a sofa. Because most of the time, what do you use the sofa for anyway? Put your clothes on. Yep. So we used that L that we didn't make into the sofa part. Yeah. And we had our clothes getting ready on that, different stuff like that. So we never missed it. Right. Yeah. Now, some of the downsides of the room was she was real snug. The room and the bathroom was very snug. Yeah, it was a little tight for, for two people. Three people forget yeah, about it. Yeah, right. But I, and, and I am one of those people that I feel like you can work with almost anything. Right. Three people, no, 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 no. no. It's two, not Two people to the most. To, not in this cabin. Right. Maybe if you go up to the extra large um, sea terrace, maybe. Yeah. But not this one. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about the bathroom. Listen. <laughs> me and my husband are not big people we're not exactly little people either but i just say it was hard y'all it was hard because the bathroom was so and it may have just yeah. been the way it was laid out like as soon as you step in over the lip the toilet is li literally right at your left leg yeah you can sit on the toilet and rinse your feet off in, in the shower, shower. Yep. and that's no exaggeration. <laughs> exaggeration. But no. what I did love about it, when I tell you, when my husband said that everything was clean. Oh. When I, listen. Every nook and cranny spotless. was clean. When I tell you, like you could usually go places and the bathroom <clears> is where you start to see like a little mildew or a little, mm -hmm. you know, soap scum build up. It was almost yeah. like they took a white rag and went through the <laughs> corners of everything because you did not see a speck of nothing, right. not even in the ground. Very clean, very comfortable, but it had no storage. No storage. When yeah. I say none, zero, zero storage. They had about, there was a lip that they had put on there, like a shelving that held the two glasses so that you can rinse your mouth out when you brush your teeth. Yeah. And it had like a little bit, probably like yeah, it 10 was. inches of vacant space on that shelf. That's it. That's it. It. So if you get that cabin or any cabin, be prepared, maybe go to Dollar Tree and get one of those shoe organizers that you yeah. can put on the back of the door because they do have two round hooks that you can hook your things onto. That'll help. And also the shower. The shower was my kryptonite. Yeah. <laughs> I am a black woman. I do not, our hair is not designed to be washed every day. We need natural oils and moisture left into our hair. A rainfall shower head <laughs> is not what I need. I loved it though. I, it, it was for me, I loved it. It felt good though. The only good thing that I could say about it is you were able to move it. Yeah, maneuver around. And tilt it a little bit so that you could at least get in the shower and brace yourself against the wall yeah. so that it wasn't coming straight down on your head. But if you drop the soap, forget about it. You gotta cut it off. 
But what I did love, even but they didn't have the they had the handheld one. So, if but you, it wasn't powerful. Like if, but if you don't want to use that, yeah, it, yes. I think I think it was it wasn't as powerful as the as rain a, shower. Yeah. But I think it was good enough to be able to rinse yourself off if you didn't want the rain shower to get your hair wet. And also, the shower felt really really cramped. <clears throat> oh also yeah, it was because small. yeah. It had the glass door, which we love a glass door. Yeah. But it also gave you that I'm closed in here and it's really tight. Like if you did like this to wash your arms, your arm was hitting the glass. Like there's no exaggeration about it. But are we moving in? No. no. <laughs> are we having a good time? Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. What else was we figured? I, I wouldn't call it a negative, but. I would say that pretty much, and this across the board, people are saying that the room definitely had an Ikea feel. Like everything in there, you could probably go to Ikea today and buy it. I felt like I was in a college dorm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so even on the closet, they had the curtain for the closet. They had the little drawers, like four or five drawers for your yeah. clothes, and they had some bins in there that you can mm -hmm. get from Dollar Tree or Walmart, the little a wicker. Yeah, a little wicker, wicker bins that you can put your stuff in there. But yeah, it, it definitely had that 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 IKEA feel. But what else we felt like was when you came on a ship, because we, we're not there yet, but the ship was beautiful. It but was. we felt like that once they got to the rooms, they, they kinda the they kinda cut costs and didn't get stuff as elegant as out in the ship. Mm -hmm. So we felt like they spent a lot of money on the techie part of the room with the, cur right. the curtains opening and the iPad and the lighting and all that stuff. That's where we feel like they put the money in the room. I agree. Yeah, which we highly enjoyed that part of it. Yeah. Highly enjoyed it. And then also, we don't like a firm bed. It's like, she gotta have some give. You know, she gotta have some pushing for the cushion. You know what I mean? <laughs> that and mattress that, was about that Yeah, it, it was firm, so we we didn't like that. It, You know, you got a decent night's sleep. You didn't wake up It early. wasn't bad sleep. Yeah. It was just it was, firm. Yeah. It was, it was thin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was low. Yeah. To the floor. It was low. Low that you couldn't get no luggage or anything Nothing. underneath of it. Yeah. So it was like, when you got in the bed, you had to let, let her down low. You had to. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> so overall, I will say that if in a pinch, I would build this room again, I would just know that I would be prepared to actually bring less stuff than I already bring. And I'm already yeah. carry on only because there's just not enough space to spread out in there. Also, you have to learn to tell your neighbor to stay on the other side until you cross over that bed because yeah. there's about this much clearance <clears throat> from the end of the bed to the TV to yeah. walk through. That became very problematic when we were trying to get ready to get places because you always forget something in the closet. So yeah. you come from the closet and you... <laughs> Excuse me, move, move, <laughs> we're trying to get my, and then you're knocking the TV I said, this TV will come off, right the, off wall. the wall. So overall, room comfortable. You just gonna have to learn how to maneuver around yes. it. Don't bring more than two people in that room. Don't book it. I don't care how many people they say it holds. Right. Two max. Right. So I would say I was all right because I was raised in a little small room. I me, was just, too. Just me and my brother. So it was like, it wasn't a deal breaker for the cruise. Like you said, no. we, we wasn't there to move in. So the room served, served its, purpose. its purpose. The next thing that we're gonna talk about is dining. Oh my God. First of all, let me tell you, I'm not easily yeah. impressed by food mostly. Most Ooh. of the time, when I go somewhere, what is the thing that I always tell y'all? You ain't gonna starve. Right. I can honestly say on Virgin Voyages, I'm afraid to get on the scale. Yeah. Because when I tell you five stars across, across the, the board, board, what? On everything. Everything. All the food. All, All of it. All of it. We are not exaggerating. No. Now, not when one I bit. tell you, let's. Let's talk about some of the breakout stars for us. Yeah. Pink Agave was oh, my favorite, hands down. Man. I tried to go twice. You yeah. uh, couldn't do it, but I am still hung up on that steak and that corn. And man. What? They put cheese on the steak. On the steak. So 
When we got in there, cause What's the right? cause the waiter had recommended a steak to us. And he said, don't worry. It got cheese on it. But trust but, me. But it's not what you think. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Only thing on this cheese going on my steak is it's on my steak, steak and cheese. <laughs> yeah. So, but I'ma tell you, it worked. If you look at anybody's video, yeah. you're gonna hear the same sentiment. Yeah. You're really gonna hear the same sentiment. We all can't be lying. And that <laughs> corn, I don't know what they did to it. Me either. But it was delicious. It was like somebody went to an island and just shucked it right off the yeah. cob, <laughs> seasoned it up, and just put a Mexican flair on it. Yeah. Amaze balls. Yeah. But let's talk about room service because we always got to try out the room service and something yeah. new just to see what it is. Yeah. I'm never expecting room service to, to be, be that good. good. Yeah. I'm not so expecting my expectations it to be good at all. Are real low when it really comes low. down to room service. First of all, they bring you your room service in this. It, I call it like a boxing bag, like a punching bag. <laughs> it looks like a punching bag. They leave it on your door. You get it and you unzip it and it's real dishes. It's real Tupperware with yeah. with the with the lid on top, silverware, all of that. Thermos. Thermos is for your for your coffee. coffee and the milk, and a little caddy for all of your condiments. Yep. Pulled it out, and when I tell you, come on, come on, now. I told my husband pull the camera out because yeah. I didn't even expect this. But we got the scrambled eggs with um the small fried potatoes. And, and bake it on the side, and then we got the stuffed French toast. <sighs> yo, yo. Hi. If I had to eat room service breakfast every morning, I would have did it. I would have did it. Yep, I would have did it every morning. Every morning. It was delicious, man. I'm just gonna tell you. It was. So when you get on this shit, make sure you order at least one time mm -hmm. breakfast with the delivery service. You ain't gonna forget, you ain't gonna regret it, I'm mm -mm. telling you. And then we ended up going to the breakfast diner and dash oh. to eat breakfast as well. And I was expecting that breakfast to be. taste just like room service, but you could tell they were made in two totally different, different, different kitchens. Right. Totally different yeah. taste. The best omelet I've I, had in my life. By far, yeah. Life. Yeah. I'm not an omelet person. Nope. What? They had these sweet potato tots yes. that came with your breakfast. It had different things, but those were the breakout stars for us. I don't know where they got their bacon from, but their bacon was amazing. Yeah, I, it was, yeah. It just, you just gotta get you a piece. You just gotta, yeah. You just got book, you, a, book a sweet, get a piece of bacon. Get a piece of bacon, I'm gonna tell you, yeah. <laughs> hit me up because it was, it was that good. And then the next thing that was for me, now these next two places that we went, the food was good, but the experience this was better. Was better. Was the first way was Gun Bay. Right. Hey, that's that's our service right there. Yeah. yeah. With the effort, uh, mustache. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so, a little fancy menu. So, I will go to Gun Bay every day. Gun Bay was <laughs> wild. It was wild. They were playing old school hip hop. Old school R and B. I mean, we was like when I heard Method Man and Red Man. Yeah, I, I said, was, "Where are we?" And so when we got in, the, the waiter told us he was like, "I'm just gonna warn y'all, it's gonna get wild in here, and it's gonna get loud." <laughs> yeah, and he you. was not lying. Uh -uh. But they gave us so much food in Gombe. Yeah, he decided yeah. to just give us a taste testing of the Every, entire, entire menu. entire menu. And I appreciated that because yeah. when I looked at some of the stuff, I was like, this uh, isn't what I'm used to. Like yeah. some things were familiar to me and a lot of them were yeah. not. So I, I enjoyed that yeah. he, he decided so, to do that. So the food was good, but the experience, experience. was out of this world. And you we got had to the go. best table yeah like our the, table couldn't was have perfect. been any yeah, better it was perfect <laughs> to go along with it they played the waiters came over and played a game with you where they yeah. brought out it wasn't sake but it was a something like sake yeah and they brought that over and whatever whenever you lost you had to take a shot <sighs> yeah 
that part. That part. So make sure you sign up for that when you get on the ship. And then the next one would be the Razzle Dazzle. Yeah. Yeah, so Razzle Dazzle kind of remind me of like a old, old school, school diner, diner, but upscale. Upscale. In the aesthetics. And, and it was the place that if you had different food choices yeah. that you needed to make vegan, gluten-free, pescatarian. Yeah. Any of that, that restaurant could accommodate any dietary need or preference. Yeah. So I went in there and I love vegan sausage. So oh, I man. got beyond, like man. beyond maple sausage. Man, that was, that, that was sausage good. was delicious. And of course in there too, the bacon. Yeah, the bacon was good. Off the chain. Yeah. The eggs were off the chain. I just had boiled eggs. Yeah. So can't now me the, with that. Now, they had waffles. The waffles were good. But they but, were kind of tough. Yeah. But they were good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, in there, we said the experience also was better than the food. Mm -hmm. But, hey, go. Because the food was still good. And if we did yeah. mention this, that every... Everywhere you go to get food on the ship is always cooked to order. It's cooked nothing, to order. Nothing is sitting on the side and waiting for you to order and they put it on your plate. It's yeah. all cooked to order. And they take food allergies mm -hmm. So serious. serious in the restaurants. They yeah. don't play Everywhere no on the ship, yeah. And I'm not even talking about just in the restaurants where you order food. If you walk up to go get pizza, what's your food allergies? If you walk up and grab a hot dog, Hold on, what's your, your food, food allergies? allergies? And then in the restaurants, after you've told one or two people what your food allergies are, then they repeat it to you when you sit down. Oh, Lynette, yeah. you're the one that has the da-da-da-da-da allergies. Okay, and then they will label your food. Even when they we had room service, yeah. they will label my bag and my container separate from his yep. to make sure that they didn't get it mixed up exactly. for my food allergies. A one. Yeah. And so when you go to Razzle Dazzle, get the chicken sandwich. That's a different experience. Yeah. Just get it. I'm just going to put it right there. Get the chicken sandwich. And right? blame him. <laughs> I guess the next thing we can um, we could talk about is the ice cream. The yeah. ice cream was delicious. Was. I, I didn't get that much. I actually, I, I, just, I just tasted hers. Yeah, and I had to get it. I mean, why could, why didn't, you have to get ice cream that says lick me till I scream. Yeah. Like, you have to. <laughs> that was the name of the ice cream spot. Like, you gotta get it. And I got the strawberry <clears throat> milkshake malt or the strawberry malt or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And, and it, chocolate. But it all and looked it was amazing. rich. The presentation was, was everything. It yeah, the presentation for the ice cream was everything. And then next door, <laughs> over to the pizza place. The pizza, man. Pizza is coming. Let me tell you, coming off of Carnival Cruises, you kind of, you know, yeah. your, your expectation for pizza is like, yeah, okay, it's, it's pizza. I'm hungry, it's just good enough to it's, eat. It's club food. <laughs> but they pizza though, I, I would say they got Papa John's, they got Pizza Hut. They have the, the Italian places around Yeah, here. all the Italian places we haven't been to. That piece, especially the white pie pizza. That's the only one I could talk, speak on because yeah, I, didn't, pizza, I didn't like the pepperoni pizza. I like the pepperoni, but it, the, that white but pie. But the white pie. The white pie. We told people to get that white pie and they got, they was like, oh my God, this junk is so god darn good. It was like, why am I sitting up here eating pizza at two o'clock in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you kind of just had to do it. It was so good. The next thing I want to talk about, we kind of left y'all off a little bit, but test kitchen. Yeah, man. Another one of those things that was an experience, not so much the food. I will say that the steak was great. Yeah. And the, the venison. The venison was great. Yes. Also, like the sorbet was awesome. Yes. I even enjoyed the mushroom um, mousse. Yeah, me too. I enjoyed that yeah. too. When they started bringing out peas with egg yolk and stuff, you lost me on that. But the smokiness of the peas was good. But when you mix the yolk with it, it was like, okay, okay, this is very different. I ain't gonna be able to do it. But what I did appreciate about the test kitchen was trying stuff that you would mm -hmm. normally try nowhere else. They got very creative with that. They did. Yeah. And they were very meticulous. Yeah. Like they were taking a, a edible flower and just yeah. plucking. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, y'all take this. I mean, white lab coats and everything. Yeah. But this is the part that we need to warn you all yeah, about. Yeah, please do. Please. <laughs> I learned this from watching YouTube videos. But 
When you do the test kitchen, you do have the option of upgrading to a wine pairing or a cocktail pairing for each dish that they yeah. bring you. So I decided to do the wine pairing. He decided to do, do the cocktail. cocktail. So we can have both uh, the best of both worlds to yeah. experience them both. It was $35 a person. Yep. So keep that in mind. And they brought you five different tastings of a pairing that goes with every dish that they bring out to you. Don't fall for it. <laughs> Don't fall for it. So I'm thinking tasting that much. Nah. You get this food, taste, it's over. No, they brought you like a half a glass yeah, of wine. Yeah, they brought you, yeah. So before you know it, you have gone through five glasses of half full wine. And when we left up out of there, <laughs> you really didn't know how much it hit you until you stood up for one. Yep. Stood up and I looked at my husband and I said, I got to go back to the room yep. because I'm slowly going down. Yep. <laughs> this was about 830 at night. Yeah. When we woke up, it was 130 in, in the morning. morning. Yep. But don't fall for it. Forgot to mention that the wine and the cocktail pairings were seamless on point i mean all of it worked it did work. like the red wines with the with, with the, the meats and the blueberries and the, yeah, and the cocktails and then like the wines with the desserts i mean it all so if you want to learn how to pair cocktails and wines with your food yeah that's gonna be the perfect place and to take go notes and they yes. will tell you what it is so yeah. i took a little bit of notes and stuff yes but it was an amazing experience even though i wasn't I mean, the food was, uh, you know, because yeah. it was just so odd and different. Yeah. But be careful. Don't have nothing planned for that evening. Yeah. Because you will probably get taken out. Yeah. If you're lightweight like us. <laughs> Consider yourself warned. <laughs> Very much so. All right. So the next thing I think we should talk about is, and you see, we going on and on about the food. We want, we want to let you we're know. We're going to drive that, that home. Yeah. We want to let you know. The chicken wings and the hot dogs. Now, when we went over there to the stand, uh, some, some good folks we met on the cruise, shots out to uh, to Ju and, and Denise. Denise. Man, we had such a great time with them, but they actually showed us with the chicken wings and, <laughs> and uh, we was going to get chicken wings, but on the sign, it made it look like the hot dogs were Philly like steak. Philly steaks but by the names, but they were actually hot dogs. With Philly steak and cheese name. topped. Yeah, topped, right on top of it but the, it was good the chicken wings was good but that hot dog though the hot dog hit the hot dog yeah because when you look at it it was like i don't i don't, I don't know. know about this but it it's it slapped i'm just gonna say that i it don't know slapped. who's around there smoking a lot of weed and coming up with these combinations yeah but thank you <laughs> <laughs> but yeah man but overall like we said the food five stars across the board. So if you are a foodie, you're gonna, you're gonna lose your mind on that ship at the way that food is gonna taste. Yeah, go to the wake for yeah. breakfast. Yes. I would preface this by saying go to the wake on debarkation Barkation day, day because mm. it's going to be like your send off meal. Yes. Get the steak and eggs and get the waffle. No, the French toast. Yeah. Get that, thank me later. Also, make sure you stop by Extra Virgin. Yeah. Extra Virgin is the Italian spot. Delicious. And, and it was delicious. Delicious. It was so good. Yeah. And I enjoyed the wait staff in there. Way more than I enjoyed it anywhere. No, pick a guy back. Yeah. But we'll get to that. We'll get yeah, to that. Yeah, right. All right. So to close it out, just a few things that we that we didn't like. So we learned from we was in Razzle Dazzle uh, for breakfast that the, the the staff, the lady told us that there was a secret menu and that we had to come back to the secret menu. So we found out that some of the restaurants had secret menus that were secret. And I was like, <laughs> how well, we how, we, how we know to, to ask, ask for, for the secret menu that's a secret? secret. Yeah. <laughs> and then 
to come back to these restaurants is almost impossible because yeah. when you reserve them, you can only reserve it once because right. they have to keep it fair for everybody on board to be able to get a chance mm. yeah. to get into the restaurants. So the only way to experience the secret restaurant is one, know it beforehand. Yeah. Two, stand in a standby line to get into the restaurant for the second time. Yes. So we didn't like that at all. Yeah. So Jessa hears up. So you get on the ship, you go to the restaurant, just ask them, hey, you got a secret menu? You might feel like you sound silly, but, but yeah. it's a thing. It's a real thing. Yeah, it is. Another negative we experienced, we went to a bar, the, the Pink Agave bar, and they like completely ignored us. And which we got it, they was very busy, they was going, but the only thing that we was looking for to say, hey, sir, man, we'll, we'll be with you in a minute, we got it, but they- Oh, they didn't even look at us. <clears throat> right, and- We were there for like 15 minutes. Yeah, and then we had went to um, the galley on the outside and we ordered some food. It looked like it was closed, and we asked him, was like, is it closed? No, no, no we're not order. closed. And so we ordered, we ordered food and we sat there and we sat there and we sat there and nobody came. So actually that was the catalyst to well, us trying to white pie pizza. Yeah. So we was like that catastrophe turned into a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, but even though those two negative experiences did not uh -huh. change the way we felt about the food. It couldn't have. Right. It couldn't have. Yes. Just to throw this in there real quick, The Wake, which is their steakhouse, you can live without it. Like if you have to fill up your agenda with another restaurant, you can do The Wake. But honestly, I would pass it up. It's, right. it's nothing to write home about. But I would say try it. Yeah. She say pass it, but I'll say try it. Because some people did say they really, they enjoyed The Wake. But after we had went to Pink Gave and, and got their steaks and stuff, it was unmatched. Well, even the wait, yeah. the wait staff over there at said the wait says, yeah. "Don't get the steak here. Get, get it in Pico Gave because it's better." Right. <laughs> so yeah. All right. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the entertainment on board. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit y'all between the eyes right out the gate that the entertainment was good. So the entertainment that we experienced was great. So the first thing we're gonna talk about was the one show that we did attend. We actually signed up for two shows, but one of the shows we actually slept through it. Because of the test kitchen? Because of the test kitchen. <laughs> and I'm mad about it, but it was dual reality. <clears throat> and our good friends um, said that it was amazing. It was amazing. But we did make it to the one called Never Sleep Alone. Let me tell you, it was fun, exciting, terrifying, terrifying, and intense. I like, like all I, of it. I have never been so scared to be called on stage in my in life. In my life. And, and I, I am very adventurous. Right. I'll go on stage <laughs> and I'll talk. I done got past stage fright, but the stuff that they was going to have you to do. So <laughs> the name got you thinking some things. Never sleep alone. But it's, it's, it's what you think, but, but not it's really. not what you think. And yes. that's all we really want to say because right. we don't want to give it away because we want you to experience it. Now, granted, you could experience it and be like, what in the heck did I just go to? But at least you had the experience with it. Yes. Um, I will say if they ask you what your um what your adventurous, um, what level? Your adventurous level is, stay below a seven. <laughs> Because anything over a seven, I have learned, gets you front row and center, and you possibly Big, could call, be called on, on stage. stage. We were at eight. We were front and center, but thank God. They didn't call. They us. didn't call our name. <laughs> but I, I I really enjoyed it. Now I, I was, had a ball. Now, I would say that it might not be for everybody, mm -hmm. but I feel like that you won't know until you, until you go. go. But I'm like, if you go and you can't handle it, Just you can leave. leave. 
And then also, if you get called on stage, they do give you a safe word so you can get out. Yeah. So just remember the safe word. So yeah. they do. So I kept that. I was like, what's the safe word again, babe? What's the safe word? But they make the safe word difficult. Yeah, so difficult. You to, yeah. you have to search for yeah. it in your mind. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but it was so much fun. It was all in good humor. Yes. Um, but I would like my husband said some people. If you're a little prudish, or if you are a person that you really is easily that, offended, yeah, or my, you know, outwardly speaking about sex and sexual activities and exploring things, offends you, don't go to that show. Yeah. At all, just stay away from it. Be warned. <laughs> you <Yeah>. are warned. <laughs> All right, the next thing that we like, the videos online does Scarlet Knight no justice. Scarlet Knight it's is intense. intense. It's scary. It's in your face. It's a it's lot. It's confusing. It's a lot. It's a lot going happening on at, at one time. At one time, you like. <laughs> that's literally and, like we were like oh but oh, okay but once you get over everything is that oh you gonna party yo tail man i partied so hard at scarlet night i forgot where i was at i was in my own freaking world man <laughs> My husband I said it reminded me so much of being in the 80s and 90s and you had the raves but then you would like we had a club here where it had four different levels and you would start at the rap level go to the salsa go to the techno yeah. end up at the reggae that's I yeah. felt like all of that, that was, was Scarlet Night right. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot going on I mean you would go from Beyonce to all I need yep. <laughs> is a love tonight. Yo, you like what? I, the I can officially <laughs> say shout out to Addie and Terry, but Terry, bro, I understand now how you jumped in that pool in your suit, and I was actually thinking about <laughs> jumping in, not because you did it, bro, but because it's you, intense. You, it's intense, and the energy is the so energy goddamn is up high. There. But what I did love that on videos, it looked like you just can run and just jump in the pool, but you can't. It's they controlled. had somebody control like, no, nah, you can't go yet. You can't go Security? yet. Security? Mm-mm. They yeah. won't play with that. But I felt like if I, if, because afterwards we knew we was going to the club. If I knew that, if I didn't feel like going back to the room and changing, I think I would have just fell in the pool just, just to say <laughs> I did it. And I probably wouldn't have put it on camera because Terry's was epic. I just would have just did it for myself. But I I, I, I didn't do it because I didn't want to do that. But I understand now. Yeah, it was intense. But there are also some people that said that this was like their fourth cruise. Yeah. And their first Scarlet Night experience. And they were like, that was a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and I was, I was saying the same thing. I was like... There's a lot, and while we're talking about it, let's talk about, like, they don't have, like, cruise directors or anything like that. They have what they call, what does it sound like? Oh, happenings crew. The happenings crew. Yeah. So the happenings crew is basically, like, the center stage yeah. for all of it. And it was confusing to me because I was like, is this a burlesque show? Is this a, <laughs> is this a drag show? Like... What is happening <laughs> yeah. here? <laughs> and then once you realize that, I don't know if you realize, because I'm still confused about what Scarlet, what Scarlet Knight, Knight is. is. Yeah, we're still confused about that. But once you settle mm -hmm. into, everybody is just there to have, have a, a great, great time, time. Yeah. in their own element. Yeah. No one is trying to force your their way of having fun or their on lifestyle you. on you right you're not doing the same with them but everybody cohesively is in the same place having a great time but it's also very segmented at the same time yeah none of that made sense just like scarlet knight does right but, but it worked <laughs> but it was fun and it worked that's yeah. that's that's the, <laughs> so if you get on there like please Go to Scarlet Night. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we fell in the back for the longest time. Yeah. Because it was just like, 
you had to absorb it first. Yeah. I mean, like, and then the next thing that we know, we were standing up on the edge of the pool. Yeah, we were getting it in. We were getting it in, boy. <laughs> we was getting it in, boy. <laughs> it, was, it was fun to watch. Yeah. Listen, if you are a people watcher, rub your eyes. Because you're going to see a lot. Because you're going to see a lot. lot. <laughs> you're going to see a lot. You're but it's a lot. all in fun. Fun. And yeah. it is an adults only cruise. So the discretion that a lot of us would have being around children is not there. And I'm not talking right. about sexualized <laughs> stuff. We saw none of that. Right. So that's my answer to the question prematurely. But outfits, they were out there. Yeah. Like, because there were no children to be, that you had to, to be, be discreet, mindful of. Be discreet of. around, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, you 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 might see a thong and some big cheeks hanging out. You yeah. might see some guys with some thongs. Like, it was just that. But other than that, that's as wild as it got. Right. Yeah. Now, the club. The club was nice. Like, the lighting, mm -hmm. the backgrounds. It was very Miami. Yes. The only negative thing that I would say, like a few nights that we went there, like the music was on point, but it became very playlicious. Yeah. If I if if that's a word <laughs> that you know they had a certain playlist, but I feel like that's everywhere we go they have a playlist. But read the room also. Yeah. Give so, room to read the room. Right. So I wish that the DJs was able to read the room a little bit more, but yeah, it was a few nights that we did. It was on point. The playlist was, was on point. <laughs> yeah. And those nights that we were confused by the club, we finally figured out why we were confused by it. Yeah. Because whatever event went on in, because it shared a space with the other events like Never Sleep Alone, Do a Reality. If those things happened right before the club, this club scene was an after party to that event. Yes. So it kept the same theme. So the night that we went to the club, it was right after Never Sleep Alone, and everybody was in there in burlesque outfits, feathers, and and Who's waving, nice? and and the and the um the, the cast was out there with their glittery hats, and, and I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. is this a club like, or is it a club? Or was it a like, show? Like, what's going on? <laughs> and then a few days we started to realize, oh, okay, the, yeah. it's. They keep a theme, so whatever yeah. the, whenever the club is open, it's theming after the show before it. So keep yeah. that in mind. Yeah. So the dual reality night show was, I mean the club was hitting. Yeah. So that's, you, that's when we woke up at 1:30 in the morning and went. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The club was lit, lit that night. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So those two paired well together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next thing we want to talk about is they have karaoke rooms and it's like walking into a real full-fledged studio. I think I saw four rooms. Yeah. And at the time that we went, they had it where you could just walk in, sign your name on the book, go in for how long you sign up for. Oh. Me, it was just me and my husband the first time. Yeah. We was just trying to find something to do. When I... <laughs> When you leave out of a place because you're nearly about to pee on yourself. Yeah, because you're having so much goddamn fun. Yeah. We told our neighbors <clears throat> about it, and we ended up going together the next night. <laughs> you it could, was even crazy. I got this. You could not tell us that we weren't new edition. Right. We weren't salt and pepper. <laughs> like, we had new a edition. <laughs> Do karaoke, especially yeah. if you are going in a group of people. Yeah. And, or it's just your family. Karaoke Yoke. was lit. Go. It was so fun. Oh, it was so fun. So look, loud. if if you on our group cruise July of next year, we doing karaoke. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. We oh, doing it. No doubt about we it. We are doing karaoke, man. Oh, yeah. We have a theme and a <coughs> name for it. And, yeah. And, yeah. We ain't going to tell you right now. No, but we're we not doing tell karaoke. You. Um, the next thing on entertainment was they had arcade, arcade man. And it was included in the price. Yes. So you didn't have to put no, no quarters, quarters in, in it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and they had all the old school <clears throat> games. They had Pac-Man, Tetris, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong. They Mortal had, Kombat, stuff like that. They had the, the, the seats that you sit in. and did Yeah. It. And listen, the Pac-Man game, have you ever been to Pizza Hut back in the day? And yeah. it was the table one where yeah. you sit in the chair. It is right. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen. Yeah. Yeah, so the arcade was nice. I, I appreciate that. I legit felt <laughs> like this cruise, and this older lady said this to us when we were in the elevator. She said, I'm 65 years old, and this, I think it was a fourth cruise on yeah, it. Yeah, fourth one. And she said, I come back because it makes me feel like I'm a rich kid. Yeah. Yeah. She said, I am so carefree, but I know I have to have money to be on here. Yeah. She said, I feel like a rich, rich kid, kid. Yep. With no worries at all. Yep. And she said it perfectly. Yes, she did. Perfectly. Perfectly. I was looking on the app because the C day, I started running out of things that interest me. So I saw that they had a jigsaw puzzle competition. I didn't know what how you were getting this into. Was, yeah. Right. But I signed up. And you walk in and it's basically the same people that signed up just like you and y'all yep. end up pairing together with strangers and they bring out this 300 piece puzzle and you have to put it together in its entirety um within an hour, hour. but or yeah. whoever we'll does finish it, it first finish it first right when i tell you the competitiveness oh yeah it was intense was insane yeah. <laughs> we lost yeah <laughs> but we had so much fun yeah we did that i almost signed up for it again but yeah. we didn't but this is the, these are some of the things that were so out of the box yeah. that they had available to you that it was like i would have never thought of nothing like that right and but it was so cool to be able to have that experience yeah and it, was it so brought fun. that togetherness of yeah. the cruise yeah. that we felt like we were we'll talk about it yeah that we felt like was missing so then you start to mingle with these people again and see them yeah, in on, passing yeah what's up jigsaw yep. you know so because we saw fun. everybody we played the game with every day every day after, after that. that yep um the next thing of the entertainment that i that we love too was in the roundabout area they always either had like somebody out there that was djing or they had somebody playing a guitar, or they had a band Keyboard. out there on the keys, somebody was singing on the mm -hmm. drums. So they 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 definitely like that. I really love that roundabout area. And it stayed packed. Yeah, like, it stayed there was, packed. It was the chill spot for most people. Right. <clears throat> people had their wine out there and they would just kick back yeah. and having a good time. Yeah, so it was the, it was very loungy feeling. The roundabout area was when you first come on the ship. That's that area right there. Yeah, they don't have what they call an atrium. It's nah. a roundabout, and it's not grand, but it's comfortable. Right. It just it just it just looks good. It so looks you, great. So don't expect like when you walk on a cruise, like a carnival cruise, and you looking up, you looking up. Nah, nah, you're not nah, gonna do you that. ain't doing that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And the next thing we want to talk about is the casino, because we know some of y'all gonna probably go gamble. We the the casino is very small, and it's depressing. And it's depressing. Um, so as we, it probably should be. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we we decided we were gonna go and do a machine, but we could not figure out how to get it started. So we went to the cage and we asked the lady. It was like, well, how do we play the game and 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 how do you do everything? How you? She do? totally missed it. I and guess. so she told us, say do do this, but if you use your room um um bracelet, it's gonna charge you seven percent if you you know use the card that's on file. Or you just can use cash and don't charge you nothing. I was like, don't charge me seven percent to gamble. 7%. So yeah, just know if you gamble off of your room thing, what your credit card is attached to, seven percent. Seven percent. So we finally got over there and we talked to um, another couple that we met on the cruise that watches on on YouTube. I can't remember y'all name, but shouts out to y'all, y'all. Yeah. But uh, Brush showed us how to do it. He was like, nah, just put your um your thing on the where you put the money in at, and we did it. Boop. But here's the thing, nothing on what, there on it told, you. told you there was yeah. no like little squiggly line to let you know. You know how when you have like Apple Pay and you can see the tap feature yeah. that nothing was on the machine telling you. Well, at least the one that we was on. Yeah. I, it ain't on none of them. Gotta yeah. look to tell you. And then there's no instructions telling you because the first time that I played, somebody named Ronald got credit yeah. for my $5. <laughs> I yeah. want my $5, Ronald. <laughs> So, so then I was able to tap and then it popped up my name. Yeah. And then so, I knew that was in. But even though it was small, they, they had the slots and tables. they had the table. Yep. So So and and, and it was pretty a um, decent amount of people in there every yeah. time we went. Yeah. But it was dark, it drab, and depressing. depressing. Yeah. I was like, oh, this don't have no life at all. <laughs> right. It wasn't it, it wasn't like inviting like a casino like, mm -mm. come on in here, no. let me get your money. It didn't, no, it it didn't have that. that. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't that at all. Yeah. 
And I'm going to seal this up by saying entertainment on the ship was great, but don't compare it to any, any other, other cruise line because no. you're going to find yourself very disappointed mm -hmm. and also feeling like you're missing something because it took us a couple of days to be like, what about, what about, or... Ooh, you like, know, where's it, the cruise director? Like, where's the person that <laughs> brings hype all of this together? Yeah, hype everybody like, up. Sail man. Away was literally like, sailing away. <laughs> but then we ended up having to go to dinner. So I heard it got a little better. Right. But there's no, like, there's not, like, a person that's the person that creates the atmosphere yeah. for the cohesiveness that mm -hmm. we are used to for cruising. That... I did feel like that was a major component that was missing mm -hmm. because also I feel like it's one of those things that Virgin is trying to be, be so, so different, different yeah. that they missed out on some of the key elements that make people love, love cruising. cruising. Yeah. And I, as a person that is like, okay now, you can't bore me. You right. can't have me figuring out stuff. It was, it, it did, it took me a couple of days, days. to be able to like yeah, and you lean got, into it. Yeah, and you got used to it. Like, okay. I got used to being yeah. on my own. <laughs> right. <laughs> As you should be anyway, but I really felt like it created these segments of people that only dealt with other people like themselves or people that was in close niche with them. And other people didn't have an opportunity to burst those invisible bubbles because right. there wasn't a cohesiveness created. Right. Yeah, somebody there to make sense. that happen. Yeah, yeah, like Carnival is like, grab your name and take your name. Do, 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 do. And then you just start laughing and having a good time yeah. with people. But it was, it was like, let me sit down on my chair. Yeah. Let me do this. How are you? Hi. Hey, how are you? Then they go back to talking to the people they were talking to. So yeah. that was something that I feel like as an entertainment team cohesively. Yeah, some something you, needs to be done with that. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. So yeah, don't expect it to be nothing like home. Mm -hmm. No. Mm. Or totally, any of the other ones. Yeah, I totally, heard. Different. Yeah, totally, totally different. different. Yeah, totally like, different. Totally different. Totally different. That's yeah. why groups mm. on here I feel like will be the way to go. Yeah. For me. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the public areas of the ship. We yeah. we, we really hit on it a little bit. But just to put it into perspective, yeah. this ship is spotless. Yeah, beautiful. Like, I was looking. Like, when things are too yeah. great, you start to look for stuff that being wrong. Yeah. The ship was spotless. It's grand. Immaculate. It, romantic. It make you feel sexy. Very chic. Yeah. I'm, but yeah. it also had its personality in different places. Yeah. Like, they had... um. The place I can't even remember the name of it, where you had the wine and the Moet, like that had its own, own personality. personality. You keep going, then you start to feel the rusticness of the dock area where yeah. it was the wake and all of that. Then you go over here, you start to feel like that quirky, like nerdy feel over there yeah. where Razzle Dazzle is. Right. Like it was so well around the thought out. Yeah. And it's nice little lounges where you can sit down with the nice yeah. couches and. And uh, 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 the shops, the shops, the arrangements. I mean, it was. Man. And the shops was so carefully thought out. Like I've never been somewhere except for resorts because y'all know resorts are. That's my baby. But you would have like high end stores yeah. where you can get a nice um, handbag, yeah. shoes. You have a place where you can get all the Scarlet Night attire, yeah. Virgin Voyages branded things. You go around another corner, and there is an essential shop. For things that you forgot my, at home, right, or like if you want to buy some Pringles, Pringles, <laughs> um, condoms, um, yeah. <laughs> man, yeah. a manscape kit, a woman skate kit, yeah, uh, like they you they thought about they all thought of it. about they everything. thought about all of it. Go around the corner and there's a whole mat counter, so you can buy products for mm. us women that we forget our stuff. Mm -hmm. You can go in there and buy your mat products. And they also have a, a makeup artist that can actually do your makeup mm -hmm. for you as well. You can book that up. You can get your beard trim, yeah. wash, you can manscape, man yeah. facial, all of that. Get a tattoo. Yep. Like yeah. everything. An ink squid, squid, squid ink. ink. Yeah. But you every day you can hear people saying, man, this ship is so nice. I mean, it's like you just can't escape it everywhere you go. You can be like, 
man, this is nice. It is nice. Yeah. It's a nice show. Also, man, the bathrooms was nice. Now, when I first went in one of the bathrooms, I got freaked out because they had a big window where you can see the water. And I'm like, well, ain't nobody fitting to see me while I'm in here using the bathroom. So it kind of threw me off. Yeah. But it was so nice, though. It worked. The bathroom was clean, mm -hmm. smelled good. Yeah. You know, it won't. A lot of touchless. Yes, a lot of touchless stuff. Everything that was clean. I ain't see a spot nowhere. You know how you usually see like soaps come up here and soaps come over there because people are putting stuff all over the place. Mm -hmm. No. Nah. Nowhere. They kept it spotless. They did. Yeah. I, I've i seen some of the videos, but you actually have to be, the graphics in there, I'm gonna call it the screen savers in the elevators. They're hypnotizing. Right, they set the atmosphere, that, you know, it could be blue one time, pink. it could be red, it could be pink, it's all depending on what the screen saver is. Mm -hmm. And also on that same screen saver, what I love too, uh, that on port days and then like on debarkation day, it always put in there the instructions Everything. on where you need to go and what you need to do to get off the ship. Yep. It was posted right there. So you can't say, <laughs> oh, I didn't know. The elevator is telling you you need to be back on board at 5.30. Right. Yeah, it, that was cool. Yeah, so I think you really gonna like the, the elevators, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you've probably seen them on people's videos, I mean, just as well as we have. Yeah, yeah. but you gotta, but you you gotta get in them. Things. Yeah, you gotta yeah. get in there, yeah. One time you felt like you was in the ocean, <laughs> like, I started going out <laughs> <laughs> And then you want to touch it. You start touching it to yeah. see if you can get it. Yeah. And they don't react to you. It doesn't. It's not interactive. All right. So all of it can't be good. Not it can't be. Right. <laughs> Although we said everything was clean, everything was modern, chic, whatever. This ship was hard as heck to navigate. Yeah. Yeah. And when I say that, I thought it was just us because this was our first experience on the ship. There were people that said that this was their second, third. And they are still trying to maneuver the, the ship, ship yeah. because everything is hidden in plain sight. Yeah. And they aren't clearly marked. Like, for instance, you will go here, make a turn, and then be like, the key set, the, the little thing on the side, uh, they have little plaques. Yeah. That's all <laughs> that has arrows pointing to different things. So if you don't stop at every corner and look, you don't know what's there. Like, there's no big like highlights of, oh, casino, or oh, Italian restaurant, restaurant right there. No, mm -hmm. you have to look on the little plaque, yeah. follow the arrow, and then you feel lost because you will go there right. and you don't see anything. Because right. you have to go this, turn, yeah. walk a little ways, and then you yeah. finally start to be like, oh, it's right there. Yeah. Nothing so it, is clear. So if you're a person that you used to ship maps, there is none. No, we didn't see not one. Nah, it's no ship maps. Nowhere to be like, you're here and you can go here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. there's no, no. No. Yeah, no ship maps. I know the employees are sick of people stopping by their bars, uh -huh. stopping by their coffee shops. Hey, do you know how to get the razzle dazzle? Go oh, here. Oh, or well, how do you get to the bathroom? How do you get <laughs> bathrooms are yeah. also, some of them are like, boom. right play site, but some of them like, what? what the heck is the bathroom at? Yes. And then yeah. you get confused because they have a lot of gender neutral bathrooms, but you don't know how to maneuver them because I opened the door and it was a guy in there and he was like, right. you can come, you come on, on in. in. I said, no. You can just lock yourself in the bathroom. <laughs> I was like, no, but they had sep like different stalls yeah. in the gender neutral bathrooms. And I was like, I'll do, I'm all right. I wait, I wait. So I was, so every time I went into a new, uh, gender neutral bathroom, I locked the door behind me so yeah. nobody else could come in behind me yeah. because I just didn't understand how the heck that was gonna work. Yeah. Like that felt like that felt like an opportunity for disaster or or a vulnerability that didn't need to be. Right. But yeah. So overall, the public areas was. Very nice, mm -hmm. so, you know. So it Just had its hard pros, to navigate. yeah, and it had the pros and cons. But we think you're you're gonna be floored by the way that ship looks. You're gonna be like, I'm glad that I came here to see this. You're gonna get your steps in though. Yeah, you're gonna get your steps in. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the next thing we want to talk about is the fitness and the pools. Ah, mm. uh, I haven't not been to a gym 
that made you when you walk in feel like I want to be here. I was like, I really want to work out, <laughs> but I'm not. But I really want to work out. It, it was inviting. Very inviting. I mean, they had really, really nice machines from the weights to the treadmills. I think I seen some ellipticals. The uplighting, um, the way yeah, everything was free staged. Yeah. Like whatever formula they use to yeah. create that atmosphere, they need to brand that. Yeah. Because I walked through there and I was like, I want to put my clothes on and come back and work out. Yeah. That they, never they, happens. They, yeah. Yeah. I don't <laughs> never want to work out on vacation. Yeah. No. I, I don't know what the heck they did. But y'all did that. Yeah, you mm -hmm. did that. Y'all did that well. So yeah, so if you are a fitness buff, a workout buff, you're gonna work. You really gonna enjoy the gym. Yeah. The gym is really nice. You're gonna be able to get get your work in 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 there. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. Yeah, and also like the outside areas that they created with like the swings and all the like the kid like things. It's all fitness. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. Those were nice as well, but yeah. it was more like uh, something to. Do something on to your do first uh -huh. day it's cute boop, 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 boop. Yeah. jump up on the um the net and whatnot and then you never saw anyone use it ever again right <laughs> <laughs> it was like a waste of space and i feel like they could have done something else with those spaces right. another pool yeah because the pool as the main joke. pool well first i want to say the main pool was very nice it's and nice. the high then the hot tubs was really nice but the pool why was it so small man and then not only was it small it was like a splash pad it's like they had the pool in the middle but they had the pads where you can get up and dance and, and walk around with the with your feet in the water that took up so much space and we was like such a wasted opportunity because it was so hard to be able to get into the main pool. We finally or be around it. Right. So we have finally got, I was like, I said, baby, I know it's a lot of people in there, but me and you gonna go in there and at least spin around a couple of times and splash some water at some people. We did it for content, <laughs> y'all. <Yeah. laughs> I know, I, I did it for content, but I did it for, I was like, I wanna see what it feels like to be in the main pool. I almost drowned. <laughs> the day go pool is, it's a daggone pedicure uh, bowl, if you ask me, because that's, that's, that's the size of it. It's the size of a pedicure bowl. So then you get in it, and when I got into it, like all the guys was like, hey, girl, come on in. So I went in, and when I went and put my feet down, I was like, oh, oh, wait, oh. Wait. Like, they were like, I got you. I was like, oh, I am 5'5", five five, and the water was here. <laughs> I was like, I'm drowning. That's because she should live. It's it's five feet, y'all. So be it's careful. About five, yeah. It's five feet. Yeah. So like legit, I had to be on my tippy toes for it to be the water be right here. I but, was like, I gotta get out of here. But my suggestion, anybody on here from Virgin Voyages, um, the creative team, the designers, or whoever can make decisions, all you gotta do that like the stage in the manor in the club where the flow just disappears. Yeah, we ain't talking about that. Cool. <laughs> yeah, so the whole stage just goes down in the flow, in the flow. to get to get more space on the dance flow. So we was like in the pool. Ooh, that's part that Why that you slide just that, that junk can slide out like this and slide in and out when you know so if they have no shows going on stuff like that it can slide it away so to make the pool bigger yeah because that pool's a joke so yeah so expect for the yeah the pool is is, is like none very of it small, makes man. like it don't make sense it doesn't make sense yeah and it's the only pool yeah it's the only pool i mean they have another kind of but it's, it's not even like a pool it's like a cold Hot tub? Yeah. Because it has bubbles and jets, but the water is cool. But we call it the tic tac toe. Tic, tic tac toe pool. But it was it was real relaxing though. So yeah, we really But that was the only place we could fit. Right. Like we're pool people. Like if you think about it, it's kind of gross. But we try not to think about it. But I like pools. I, I love pools. <laughs> I love pools. I grew up in pools, so I ain't that's, dead. That's why Look, I, was, I ain't I died get, yet. Yeah, so that's why I was like, I gotta get in that main pool. Yeah, so we did it for like five when I say five minutes. I was in there for like five minutes. Right. So if you get up in the small, the small pool, expect you know it probably gonna be like this. It was too much. <laughs> yeah. The introvert in me was like, who? Too many people. Too many people. Yeah. <laughs> so we got, but mission accomplished. We yeah. did get into the main pool. We did. But it's a joke. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about the service on board. Uh, you see me smiling, right? Yeah, man. From ear to ear. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh. We have luck. We have looked up and gotten great cabin stewards 
every time we have sailed. Some have been better than others, but right. no one has been below average. Right. My breath of fresh air yeah. was our steward. His name was Harry. Yeah. But he liked to be called Prince, Prince Harry. Harry um, because he's regal like that. He was no taller than this. He looked like a teenager, yeah. so he, he had to be like barely. 18, 19. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like of work age. Right. And when I tell you he has such a carefree attitude, personality, yeah. like he was infectious. Yeah. Like, it was times where we would just like kind of sneak up on him. He wouldn't even know we were behind him. And he would be, be in the hallway. And I say, Prince Harry. He hey! And he was the same every day. Every day. Every day. His attitude, the way he talked, his mannerisms. Yeah. He yeah. even told us, he said, um, when is your next cruise? And I, you know, I kind of told him that I had an opportunity coming up that I possibly could be sailing again. And he was like, go to customer service and see if they could switch me to that ship. Yeah. And I, I said, like, huh? huh? He said, yeah, they can do that. Like, I said, what? I don't know if you're joking okay. or not. He was like, anything is possible if you ask. And I just like yes. laughed it off, yeah, but I was like, like Maybe I might call and see if that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was like, anything is possible if you ask. He said, you know, they're in port usually together. So I was like, wow. But he would come by the room, check on us mm -hmm. to make sure that we were fine before he took breaks. Breaks? That, that really impressed me. Yeah. That, yeah. Because usually like, on break time, break. You, I'm gone. <laughs> I forget you in case you ask me for something. Yeah. He kept our room. Like when we left out the room. He was quick um, with which it. we didn't mention this that in the room they had so versus having a little sign you got to put at the door to say do not disturb or i'm ready for my room to be clean they had buttons that you press and the light on outside right so if you want do not disturb you press the do not disturb button and the light outside was red but if you want your room clean and hit the button it and turned blue, blue. and uh that was so nice so we forgot to mention that in there so when we left our room we put our light on before we got back from either breakfast or walking around, yeah. our room was clean. But what I did like about that, the button system, kind of missed talking about that. If you put it on Do Not Disturb, they also have a doorbell. So yeah. they, like people ring the doorbell when they want your attention. Doorbell didn't work when it was on Do Not yes. Disturb. I said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were talking, we said, call, we said Carnival could never, them day go kids be down at ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding Ringing everybody's doorbell if they was on that ship. I'm like, so I'm glad it's adults only. <laughs> but the staff, mm -hmm. let's, 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 let's not. You could tell that Virgin Voyages takes great, care of them they you can feel the can genuineness feel that they really care about your experience on the ship they want to make and sure they that, love being there right and they wanted you to have a good time mm -hmm. like we mentioned before at the restaurants they always ask you if you had any food allergies they made sure that the food was right on point the service like you know other than when we was at the blue agave we told y'all that they ignored pink. i mean pink agave <laughs> you gonna change it to yeah, the blue, blue agave <laughs> where well, they ignored us and at, at the gala of ordering the food but other than that, that was the, the bar yeah the bar yeah but the staff man they were a1 and what a1. i did like is mm -hmm. they knew their food Yes. And they knew what went with that food as far as a beverage. Yes. And I'm not just talking about alcoholic beverages. If you wanted a juice or something like that, Stanley ordered something and the waiter said, Mrs. Stanley, can I can I do a suggestion? Yeah. If you drink that before your meal comes, you're going to be so full and bloated that you're not going to be able to enjoy, enjoy your, your meal. meal. You need to do a refreshing type of drink so that it will complement and prepare your stomach for... It's like, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? And they were so right. Like, yeah. <clears throat> although you could order something and they would be like, okay, here. But they would also give you a suggestion, be like, have you thought about this? Like I ordered something and he said, how about trying the ginger version of yeah. this? And it will make, it will cut the fat and cut the oils and make everything go down smoothly. I'm like, where am I? Right. <laughs> Where am yeah. I? It, wow. It was, it was like, dope. wow. Yeah. Yeah. And we were in Razzle Dazzle and 
the employee told us, said, you know, how, how was everything? And she was really just having a really genuine conversation. Um, we got invited to her home in Mexico. But yeah. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she told us, she said, how's the app? And we were talking about how the app felt so segmented. Yeah. That sometimes it felt like we were in a study course. Like, okay. Yeah. It was. And she said, go to guest services and get a paper copy of the itinerary. Yeah. I was like, what? She said, yeah, nobody knows they're there. They put them out every day. Just do that so you can look at everything overall. So keep that in mind. It made it, it's, it, it, made it, it so, so much, much easier. easier. Yeah. <laughs> to keep up with what was happening on the ship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So staff was unmatched. Like service couldn't have asked right. for better. Right. All right, let's speak on embarkation day and debarkation day. Both was so smooth. smooth. So even though during the embarkation, there was a lot of people out there, we didn't wait that long at all to get on the yeah. ship. It's a well-oiled machine. It's a well-oiled machine. And then on debarkation day, it was a well-oiled machine. But however, the app would and in the elevators would tell you that if you want to beat the crowd, go before like 10 or 10, 15. That was our time on our sailing. Right. But y'all keep in but mind. But keep in mind, my your sailing might be a little different time. But if you went earlier, it was We walked off. We like we was like, I think we might have got off in like maybe ten minutes, if that. And five minutes was us talking, talking to, to the customs, customs guy. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I was like, you gonna let us go or not? Like he was legit like I think because we looked like him. And he was interested in the cruise, so yeah. he was talking to us, and he was like, "I be looking at them when they when they leave up out it, it be like, boy, we had a time last night." And yeah. I said, "It is true." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was great. Um, what else? But I will say about embarkation day, don't show up early. Right. Because their well oil machine is controlled. And that's how they're able to navigate those lines so quickly. Yeah. They have a numbering system based off of the time that you get, that you have checked in. Yeah. Like a month before you will have your actual check-in time. I didn't select mine. I don't know if you were able to select it, but mine was just given to me and it was 1.30. So as soon as I got there, they put me in the 1.30 line. line. Yep. Everybody that was 1.30 lined up behind us. Yep. And then when the one o'clock people was done, <clears throat> they flowed us oh, through to like, like yep. we were at the carnival hunt. <laughs> like we were at the state fair. Yep. That's how they just, all right, your turn to go in. The only people that got early um, embarkation were Rockstar Suites, those kind of suites that have those perks. And if you book like any of the like romance hey, packages, yeah, the romance bubble package, and yeah. yeah, because they had different perks added on to those where you were able to get on before the first embarkation time slot. Right. Other than that, don't don't come early because you will wait. You have to wait. You do have to wait. Yeah. But even at that, we came about forty five minutes early, mm -hmm. and we still was on the ship within an hour. Yeah. Within an hour, right. no, no lies about it. Exactly. All right, so this one was like, at first we was like, we missed it. But after we got into the thick of it, we was like, we like that they do this, is the announcements on port days. Cause you know, usually on port days, announcement come over and say, hey, we've we, reached, we, we've reached our destination. Debarkation is going to begin at X time on, and you go down to X depth to get off uh -huh. the ship. All aboard is this time. Right. But no. We just pulled up. Yeah, you pull up, <laughs> they park, and then the app will tell you you can get off at this time. And like we said, the elevators will let you know you get off at this time. But what we felt like it did though, it made it so smooth to get off during port days. Because it, it was, was not a rush. It wasn't a rush of people uh, getting off the ship. So at each port, we got off just like this. We came down. We walked downstairs right off. And walked right on off. And getting back mm -hmm. on was the same way. Yeah. So we did, so the announcement thing will, gonna throw you off a little bit. It's gonna be like, lack gonna, of. yeah, the lack of, they're gonna be like, okay. Is I like don't hear my cruise director let me know it's okay to get off. No. No, it, it, it makes you be a real, real adult yes, you about your a, vacation. Yes, <laughs> yes. Cause if you don't keep up with that app, mm -hmm. you're lost. But I like that even if you don't keep up with the app, if you try to go out and try to find, it's right in the elevator. It is an it's elevator. Right in the elevator. It tells you exactly what to do, where to go, what time, what time to get back on, and everything. So I did appreciate that. And then I like, you know, like in the when you in the morning time where you you still sleep, but you kind of alert a little bit. 
but you be on like carnival and the thing. Boom! This is your cruise director, Ryan Rose. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ryan. I had to bring your name up. And you like, I'm glad I'm hearing from you, but I'm like, I could fall back into sleep. So I did like that, that when that happened to me on the ship, I was able to slip back in and get a little bit more sleep because I ain't had that boom. Yeah, that was nothing. Yeah. <laughs> like even when you pulled off in port, you didn't even, you felt that you were leaving. Right. They did not they say. They say we would get ready to leave. They you know? didn't tell you that we gassed up. They right. didn't tell us that they put it in reverse. Say they that. didn't tell us that we was in drive. They didn't tell us to put our seatbelt on, nothing. They just put it in pop they, and pulled off. No, they put it in drive and pulled <laughs> off. I mean, drive and pulled, and pulled off. That's it. <laughs> I was like, so how do we know if they left somebody? Like, right, <laughs> you won't know. But the one thing I can't say, I told my husband this, I kind of felt like I was on like a self-driven Tesla. Yeah. Cause <laughs> we never saw nobody. Like you didn't see any crew other than the entertainment staff and the wait staff. And the wait staff, yep. And kitchen crew, yeah. you know, every now and then. Other than that, you know how every now and then you would see some officers walking around the ship or, I don't even know where the hell the bridge was. Yeah. <laughs> Like, you really felt like, I wouldn't be surprised if this is a self-driven. Yeah. Because it was nothing. It was dead <laughs> silence. <Yep. laughs> it was like nothing. Uh -huh. We did hear from the captain one time. One time. Where they had a smoke issue in yeah. one of the restaurants that they yeah. had to call. And I said, are we about to go down? Because if they got on this loudspeaker and said something, something, something wrong. Something must be wrong. But he was like, it's all good, you know. He said it was a false alarm. Yeah. You know, <sighs> the smoke has been taken care of. Enjoy your vacation. Yes. That was it. The next thing we want to talk about is the security. Mm. Security was everywhere. Which I love. I did love it. Because they won't like all up in your face, but they were there. Post it up and making sure that you were safe and that nothing got out of hand. Like we said, and at, they were <clears throat> equipped for the job. job if you yeah. knew what I, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Right. Like I felt like if something broke off, they had it. Yeah. Other ones, you'd be like, they're gonna toss that little joke around. <laughs> he can't do nothing with these people. Nah, they they really they got some real security on yeah. board. So yeah, so that was on point. Yeah, and they were like, they were everywhere. Yeah, they was everywhere. One time I was like, is this something I should know? <laughs> like, why are y'all so present? <laughs> right. But when it came to a lot of the shows and events, you could see them in abundance. Then. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so to wrap it up, like we said, can't talk about all the good things without talking about some of the bad things that we felt. When it came to the entertainment staff on board, I felt like it was clickish. Like I felt like they gravitated to likewise people or people that had common interests as themselves. And anybody that was kind of on the outskirts of that, you just had to watch them yeah. have fun and entertain. I never felt like there was a, like we said before, <clears throat> like an invitation of anybody else to have a good time or to enjoy some things. And then they also have these private events yeah. that the cast can bring you down and have, you know, fun in their private, like entertainment quarters or whatever. I don't know what yeah. you call it, right. but they have separate little secret gatherings that they have for people that they gravitate more to. So it started to feel, even with the segments of what we already spoke of that we easily got over, yeah. you still started to see like, y'all keep just digging your nails in it. <laughs> like, it's like, wow. Um, but some of the ones that we did have like, if we had to have an encounter with them, like they were working the door where we were going, they were pleasant, yeah, they were nice, pleasant, yeah. but that's as far as it went. Right. Like it was like, hey, how are you? You know, da 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 da. But you could see with other people, it was the, what's uh, going on? Uh, like it was, it was different. Yeah. Um, And I'm not used to that. Like I'm used to being in a cruising family community when I'm mm -hmm. on board. Yeah. Um, I didn't feel like that with that staff at all. So overall, you guys is gonna enjoy <laughs> the services. So even with the negatives we talk about, the service is gonna be top tier for you. It is. 
top tier. Mm -hmm. Yes. The last thing we want to speak about is value for, for your money. money. I can say this, and I am a person that I am very emotionally attached to what I spend my money on. And I have to make sure that if I'm paying top tier money for something, I have to get top tier service. Gotta be valuable. And I will honestly say on this sale, and I can't speak for no one else's sale, and I can't speak for anybody else's experience. I would have paid more. more. Yeah. Yes. The price point that pe that was paid, I would have paid more, more. Yeah. To be on this selling because collectively this was an experience of a yes. lifetime. Yes. It was wonderful. Then on top of the fact that your Wi-Fi is included, your gratuities are included, your essential beverages are included, which the means- Especially restaurants it, are included. We felt wrong putting our cup up to the soda machine, right. pressing the button yeah. and soda was coming out. Like it was like- So you used to having to pay for that. Yeah, you used to, yeah. Yeah. For us, we still tipped separately outside of the gratuities included in the price. That's just who we are. It's what we do. <clears throat> I, like I said, I would have paid more right. to do it because I feel like what you got for the amount that was charged, yeah, they exceeded all they of the. Over -delivered. They over-delivered. They over-delivered. The quality of food alone was worth, worth the, the price. price of admission. Yeah. Like if you are a person that's a foodie and you don't go to anything else, you just enjoyed the food, food. on board yeah. along with the atmosphere that those eateries create. It, was, it would be worth it. Right. I, I call it, I told the queen, I said, what it felt like. It felt like an all-inclusive luxury resort. Mm -hmm. And that's and what that, I love. And the only thing that wasn't included was your alcohol. Was your alcohol. And they took care of that, that you could just buy uh, the, bar tab. the bar tab so you can make it all-inclusive. And let's. I'll just tell you this little nugget. We did a lot of different drinks just to <clears> see what the price point was. And outside of restaurants, the highest price drink we got was ten dollars. Ten dollars, and that was a Long Island. Right, Long Island was ten dollars. Bahama um, Mama was ten dollars. Screwdrivers was ten dollars. Margaritas was nine. Yeah. Um, when you went to the restaurants, they upcharged maybe two more dollars. So most some of their drinks was twelve dollars. Yeah. Thirteen dollars. Yeah. But other than that, that was the highest price of it. So a three hundred dollar bar tab would do most people <laughs> real fine. good real good <laughs> it would do most people really well yeah also when i say value for the money we um ended our voyage in bimini bahamas if you watched us before you see that this is probably like our, our third, third time oh, in, bimini. Yeah, in bimini but i can honestly say this <clears throat> is the first time yes. that we've gone to bimini and it has been exclusively for virgin voyages which means no one else can be there except for the locals that live there or work there, except for Virgin Voyage passengers. And it created an exclusivity. Yes. That was like, wow. Yeah. It made me forget where I was because we're so used to when we go to, to the Bimini Beach Clubs, paying for things. Paying or, for drinks, paying for, for food. food. And the only mm. thing that you had to pay for was your alcoholic Alcohol. beverages. Right. And you could use your 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 band from the ship. From the ship. Yep. So you didn't need cash at all. If you, I mean, you, yeah. wisdom says still bring bring cash. the cash. Yeah. Don't get it. <laughs> don't forget where you at. But now. you don't. You didn't need it out there. But you didn't need it. They fed you. And that was included. And the food was pretty decent. Yeah, the, food the was carry good. was amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fish. We couldn't even eat the fish because the flies. flies. Yeah, the flies just like. Yeah, um, and then port the platter. Port de Plata, um, Dominican Republic. Beautiful, man. Beautiful people. The port. The, the port is beautiful. Yeah, that when we, cause when we got to the port before, cause we did the um the dune buggy excursion and some of the stuff we missed. So when we got back yeah. from the dune buggy excursion, and we, we was like, around. wait a minute, y'all got pools out here. You got a DJ. You got this restaurant. You got this boss. Like, man, you didn't even have to do an excursion. It reminded me a lot of Amber Cove. Oh, okay. When um <clears throat> how they had the big pool where. Like, you don't have to do an excursion if you didn't want to. Want to, yeah. And I felt like if I came better prepared, I could have gotten my pool in. Yeah. In that port. 
because you definitely couldn't get it in on on that ship. Yeah, cause like by the time we got back from the Doom Buggies, we just went to the bar and got a few drinks and we're going to ship cause we was wore out. We were worn out. Yeah, we wanted to. Wanted and we to. found a family member that we chilled out yeah. with, so it was fine. But those Doom Buggy ride though at Puerto Plata. Do that. Do that. It's everything. It is everything. Right. And then we it, loved took it. You to, it took us to a beach. Yeah. So um, we had a great time at the beach, but it was a public beach that they had segmented off for our Just excursion. Us. Right. But when I tell you the haggle was real, yeah, we were like, leave us alone. I didn't feel like they were like super aggressive. But I just felt like they just they were just one after just one after another. Yeah. So like if you told them no, they didn't like push, 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 push. No, they didn't push, but it they was just, yeah. the next one came in line. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we say we saved the best for last. Uh-huh. Is this a swingers cruise? And my answer to you is yes and, and no. I say that because we did not get that vibe. We didn't see nothing. We nothing on there was overly sexualized. I it was, was actually shocked. It was nobody coming and hitting on you and be like, you want to come back to the room. Nobody was testing on you. Nobody was feeling on you. It won't any of that Even stuff. Even dancing. People was not seductively dancing no. on nobody. No. And I've heard it all, you know, it's the gay cruise, it's the it's the swingers cruise, they having orgies. I'm being honest with you. You can really get that anywhere. Right. So that will be my answer to the <laughs> yes. I yeah. feel like if you came there looking for it, it probably would be available. It probably would be available to you because I saw some people walking around in their pineapple gear. Yeah. So y'all already know what that means. Mm -hmm. That you down for that if you got yeah. your pineapples and unicorns. I didn't see no unicorns. I didn't see unicorns. Either. But I did see the pineapples though. People walking around with their pineapple shirts on. Yeah. Yeah. But um I mean, I kind of was disappointed because I wanted to see some. I, I wanted to see some people in action. I wanted to see. I wanted to see people in their natural habitat. This is my first adult cruise. I wanted to see some. I ain't seen nothing. And yeah. when I say that, it's not even that. You know how when you can look at people and be like, oh, it ain't happened because this is the crowd. No, uh-uh. This was the, the crowd. This was the crowd. That I felt like that if anything yeah. like that were to go down, this would have been uh -huh. the crowd. Right. And we saw absolutely nothing. And we hung <clears throat> out. Like, we hung out. Right. We were in the same spaces, like, doing the same things. And we never. No. No, it was all in great fun. But I will say... To answer the question, will we do this again? Yeah. I would do this over and, and over, over and again. over again. There would be some aspects of it that I probably would not participate in. Right. Because it just wasn't my thing. Stanley enjoyed Scarlet Light um, Night. And I think I could live without it because I was such a partier back in the day. I'm kind of over that scene. <laughs> um, but it didn't bother me. It didn't offend me. But it was more like... Okay. All right. I lost do, my mind. Do, I lost do, my do, mind. Do, do, do. Like I kind of just uh, was like over something. I mean, matter of fact, it's cool. Matter of fact, we was like, can y'all please like spin this bad boy around and take us back out another five days, please? Yeah. And y'all know that I'm a person. I've never been on more than a five day sailing because around day three yeah. or four, I'm ready to go. I'm like, I'm out of there. Could do ten days. I legit felt some kind of way. Yeah. Packing my bags. Like, I could have nah. easily did a back to back on this. It was so depressing when we was packing. It was. Like, it was. Like, please, please take us back. Mm -hmm. Please and, take and us back out. That is big coming from somebody like me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> because y'all know, y'all like, you didn't do a seven day. I could have done oh, 10 yeah. days on here. On here, yeah. And, and it wouldn't have bothered me not one nope. bit. That's mm. how much, that's how much we enjoyed the fun, the excitement, the food, mm -hmm. the people on that ship. It was so fun. It was, we had a good time. Yes. So with that said, we are going back on that ship in July of 2023. It's going to be July the 21st through July the 26th. It's called the Grown and Sexy Cruise. And the name fits it. It did. Perfectly. So, so this was the trial run to that voyage yeah. because we weren't really worried about 
whether or not people was going to enjoy the ship because it really was a cohesive right. thing with a group cruise. So we could have been anywhere. Right. So this, <laughs> this was a trial run for us to figure out some of the things that our people would like, wouldn't like, yeah. and to get a plan of action of the things that we're going to do. And we got it. Right. So if you want, <laughs> so if you want to be a part of that, the link is down in the description that you can take a look at and you want to book, we would love to have you. And then also, if you just want to book a Virgin Voyage cruise, we, got um, you we can help too. you on that too. Look, this solidified my openings for Virgin Voyage bookings. Yeah. Because I had not booked anyone except for people in the group for Virgin Voyages until now. All right, so we hope that you enjoyed this review and our honesty of what we thought about the Virgin Voice Scarlet Lady, and we're going to catch you in the next video. Peace. And y'all, make sure you stay tuned for the vlogs that are going to come out of our trip so you guys can actually yes. see the amazing time that we experienced on the Virgin Voice Scarlet Lady. And if you're interested in our shirts, as always, we'll have a yeah. link down below. Use my code Lynette, L-Y-N-E-T-T-E, -E, saves you 25% off. Yep. And we will see you in the next video. Yeah. Peace. Peace.